there, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. And a bit of a pickle. Uh, we're going to do an episode on posses in the Old West. So. We can do that. In the Old West, law was not as plentiful as it is today. A police force in a small town was maybe just a handful of lawmen. If your bank was robbed and you had to go after the outlaws, help was needed to chase those rapscallions down. Enter the Posse. It derives from the Latin Posse Comitatus, which means force of the country. That was later shortened to Posse. The members could be other lawmen, businessmen, laborers, or anyone able to track, ride, and shoot. I need men that will react instantly and shoot this man on sight. Men who knew the geography of the region were of great use. Temple Houston, son of famous Texan Sam Houston, was a lawyer and served on many posses. He was also extremely good with a gun. That mortal who these marvels can do, c'est moi, c'est moi, tis I. Serving on a posse was your civic duty, and unless there was a reward to split up, members were rarely paid for it. Hey, Dooley, want to be in a posse? Dress like this? Oh, hold on there, Dooley. Refusal to be in a posse in Nevada Territory could land you in the slammer for 30 days and up to a thousand dollar fine. Get left. What's the matter, Red? Door closed behind you again? Uh, Shut up, Sandy. In 1896, some law dogs got suspicious of a couple of men casing a bank in Blackwell, Oklahoma. They formed a posse and tracked the men, only to end up in a gun battle when the miscreants were asked to throw up their hands. You boys. Some kind of posse. Now, there weren't as many bank robberies in the era as Hollywood depicts. Posses were also formed for catching escapees, murderers, pretty much anyone on the run from the law. Billy the Kid, Butch Cassidy, Jesse James were all chased by posses at some point in their renegade careers. I hate posses. In one case, a posse chased another posse. Cochise County Sheriff's posse, led by Johnny Behan, went out after Wyatt Earp and his Vendetta posse. Deputy U.S. Marshal Neely Factor formed a posse and captured an outlaw gang near Adamson, Oklahoma. They didn't go easily, and a gunfight ensued. I guess you've determined being on a posse frequently ended up in violence. Malfeasance didn't want to go to jail, or worse, the gallows. So many times they resisted like cornered animals. Events like Ned Christie's war and the Johnson County War were plentiful in the bloodshed arena, and some posse members didn't make it home to their families. As the West became settled, police forces became more numerous, and the use of posses started to fade away. Now, in the future, we'll go more into specific events where posses were involved. Oh, and in case you all were wondering, I said the word posse 18 times during this episode. Thank you. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Well, Santee, it's been fun, but I'm out. And I'll see you on down the trail.